Mine eye hath played the painter, and hath steeled thy beauty's form in table of my heart. My body is the frame wherein tis held, and perspective that is best painter's art. For through the painter must we see his skill, to find where your true image pictured lies, which in my bosom's shop is hanging still that hath his windows glazed with thine eyes. Now, see what good turns eyes for eyes have done. Mine eyes have drawn thy shape, and thine for me are windows to my heart, where through the sun delights to peep, to gaze therein on thee. Yet eyes this cunning want to grace their art. They draw but what they see, no, not the heart. <sighs> I was on at 24. Um, happy Monday, as of 45 minutes ago. Um, yeah. Uh, I was on at 24. I'm really sleepy. Um, yeah, I... Uh, let me think about this sonnet for a second. I, I really like this sonnet. I like, I think it's really compelling imagery. Um, the It gets a little confusing with the wordplay of the like, I see your eyes and me in your eyes kind of the, it's tough to keep track of all the pronouns of his, you, and mine. Um, but the takeaway I got is that it's the, the the image is of when you're looking in someone's eyes really close and you can see yourself reflected in their eyes it got me thinking about the concept you know and i don't know if the, the, maybe this is what i'm bringing to it for like an interpretation but the concept of perspective being what makes something beautiful. Um, so I think it's a really romantic thought to think that I could see the way someone sees me in that reflection. So I'm looking in someone's eyes and I see myself reflected in their eyes, but I see like everything they like about me in their eyes or everything they hate about me in their eyes. And, um, yeah, that's where my mind went. That's uh, a really cool image. Um, but also kind of a cool thought of, you know, is something beautiful because it's objectively beautiful or is something beautiful because of how something's interpreted or perceived? And the, the commentary kind of near the end about eyes, about like, eyes don't know any better they're just instruments they're just they don't have feelings eyes are just tools and machines like they don't they don't understand what they're seeing they're just vehicles for your mind to perceive things and so the idea that And, and, and also the the, uh, the language that he uses of eyes drawing things is kind of an interesting thing, uh, or an, an interesting concept of, you know, again, perception versus objective reality. So my eyes are perceiving this combination of light and things, and relaying data to my brain, essentially, right? And so the idea that my eyes are drawing something and they're imperfect artists, they're not necessarily, my brain is not necessarily going to perceive what, perceive what objectively is there, um, got me on this whole thought, the locomotive of perceiving things and, and visual perception and all that. So it's, uh, man, Shakespeare, thought fucking stuff. Um, I'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> I'm tired. Um, yeah, happy weekend. Sonnet 25 next week.